good morning. Today we are doing another super quick and simple what I eat in a day and they're gonna be focused on staying lean and fat loss since we're doing the 30 day tiny waist challenge. So for breakfast, I'm not really having much because I'm not that hungry. For lunch, I'm having pork chops and today's video is sponsored by the National Pork Board but I am an avid lover of pork chops. I eat them all the time. It's one of my go-to meals. I'm going to show you how I eat them and all the nutritional info about them and then for dinner we are having pasta. That's right girl. We still eat pasta even when we are trying to lose fat because carbs are important and at the end of the day it's all about how much you eat rather than what exactly it is you're eating. You can still gain weight eating broccoli and chicken. All the time. Who the hell would want to do that? I don't know. But you can. I only eat breakfast when I wake up and I feel hungry. I feel like a lot of people eat breakfast or eat certain meals or eat at certain times out of habit rather than out of hunger. I have a little bit of homework for you. Tomorrow when you wake up in the morning, really ask yourself, do I feel hungry right now? Like, is this what I'm feeling hunger or is it just me wanting to eat because I'm bored, out of habit, because I'm used to eating at this time? You don't have to eat breakfast if you don't feel hungry. You don't have to force yourself to eat it. You should eat when you feel hungry and stop eating when you feel full. Yeah, I had a kind of a big dinner yesterday, so I'm not really that hungry right now. So I'm going to make myself some tea and I probably won't feel hungry until lunchtime. Today, I'm not really doing any exercise or any kind of workouts today. I'm just working so usually when i work out i do eat more since i'm burning calories throughout the day i feel hungrier but since today i'm staying pretty sedentary which is most people's lifestyle anyway i will show you what i eat in a seden sedentary S sedentary whatever a sedentary day <laughs> here is my earl gray this is johnny's favorite mug this is my favorite mug because I pretty much, I say this at least a few times a day. <laughs> I put about two spoons of sugar, squeeze some lemon, and it's good to go. <sighs> Cheers. So now it is time for lunch and I am starving, girl. I completely forgot it was lunchtime because I was working the whole morning. I lost track of time. And now I am so hangry. Thankfully, my lunch is super quick, super easy to make so i'll be eating real real soon i am making pork chops one of my favorite go-to little lunches and i'm working together with the national pork board to bring awareness to people and educate people about pork nutrition and also to fight misconceptions that some people may have about pork so when i cook my pork chops i start off with cooking some onions i chop up some onions and i cook them on the skillet and i cook them until they're nice and translucent especially sweet onions to really get that flavor once they're cooked i put them to the side and in that same pan in kind of like the leftover oil i will cook the pork chops just so that the pork chops have like the flavor of the sweet onion to really mm. bring it in there. For flavorful, tender, and safe pork, you should cook the pork until a meat thermometer reads 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You measure it by placing it through the side of the pork chop, giving it a three minute rest. So it is a huge misconception that you have to cook the pork until the inside is super white and the juices run clear. You can have delicious and safe pork when it's lightly blush on the inside, as long as the meat thermometer tells you 145 degrees. Garlic, or I shred some garlic, I put it together with the onions, a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil, and then I mix it all together and it creates like this garlicky onion, drizzle that is so so damn good and then i drizzle it over the pork chop i'm salivating <laughs> pork is an excellent source of nutrients that are super important to our health it is high in thiamine vitamin b6 phosphorus it's an excellent source of potassium and it has a hella protein it is a lean protein okay a lot of people have a misconception that pork is super high in fat because it is associated with processed cuts of pork such as bacon sausage pepperoni things like that but pork tenderloin is just as lean as skinless chicken and in my opinion tastes way better like way better it is super budget friendly and really easy to make in small portions so if you're just cooking for yourself or for you and someone else oh and usually forgot to say this usually before throwing the pork onto the pan i season it with salt pepper and oregano on the side with the pork chop i'm having a salad baby spinach baby arugula i love arugula this is my favorite here i'm putting uh, my favorite dressing which is a cheese and pepper salad dressing you can use your favorite dressing or olive oil or whatever it is you prefer and i like my salad saucy so no i don't go light on the dressing and that's pretty much my look it takes about 10 minutes to make 
and it tastes really, really good. It makes me feel fulfilled, a great source of protein. And as you can see, I'm not really having much carbs with this meal, and that's because for dinner, we are having some delicious, delicious pasta. This right here is so good. Mmm. Best pork chop I've ever had in my life. I never really drink any kind of sodas with my meals or any kind of juice. These juices are usually super high in sugar. It's better to eat your fruit rather than drink it. I usually drink just sparkling water. Sometimes I'll have a flavored sparkling water. I don't tend to consume a lot of liquid calories unless I'm making like a cocktail. <laughs> that is the only exception. Like a mojito. That's a different story. I've got a hell of a sweet tooth. So I'm eating two of these little coconut chocolate things. If you know what these are, you a real one. Three of these have 190 calories, I believe. I'm just having two. These are so good though, they're like my weakness. I am having pasta for dinner. So as you can see for, well for breakfast, I didn't have much. And for lunch, I didn't really eat a lot of carbs. You don't have to split every single meal totally evenly. Like, oh, you need to have the exact, same amount of protein, carbs, fats, and every single meal. You can split it up between meals as long as you get your macros in throughout the day. So we are having pesto pasta. I am using a store-bought pesto because I have found one that I love. And then I also dice up some tomatoes to put over the pasta just to add a little bit of freshness. And then I top it off with feta cheese. And this combo tastes so, so good together. It's pretty simple, straightforward recipe to make. Here is my plate. I finished pretty much everything. So now, Honestly, if I had more pasta on my plate, I probably would have kept eating just to finish it. And like, I'm tempted to eat more, not because I'm hungry, but because it tastes so damn good. I'm not gonna add more to my plate because I know I feel satisfied, I know I feel full. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna drink some more water, I'm gonna take 10 minutes. And if in 10 minutes I'm still craving more pasta and I really still feel hungry, I'll go get seconds. But usually, most of the time, this little craving, this feeling goes away after like 10 minutes. You just need to give it some time the night with a few scoops of chocolate ice cream nice and simple so as you can see from all the things I eat today I'm all about balance I don't restrict myself on any one particular type of food I like to eat a little bit of everything why is Loki sitting down like that he is so strange wow what are you doing what are you doing ah. but yeah I hope I gave you guys some ideas of what to eat and if you try any of these recipes please let me know in a comment below. And thanks again to the National Pork Board for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys learned something new uh, about cooking pork and all the... What, what happened? They're so weird. All the nutritional info. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.